Hello viewers, welcome to uh, another video from the Da Vinci Electric Laboratory. You have three bulbs here, one there and those two here, that I want to test. The problem is, uh, I don't have any ballast for them. These are 250 watt mercury vapor lamps. Um, I did test them just to see if they would light up, they do, but I didn't test them all the way up to their full brightness. So we're going to do a little test today, but something, let's say, unconventional. Um, back there, I have a ballast right here. This ballast is a M59H33, which is for uh, those 400 watt metal halide or mercury vapor lamps. I got this ballast at recycling last year. The capacitor was blown. I found this in a uh, yard light. The capacitor was blown, but I got the core because it was looking. It was actually good. I tested it with a uh, the original 24 microfarad capacitor, one I had. But by looking at it, you can see that uh, <laughs> uh, it's not really reliable. It does test good, but you know, it's so dried up that I would not use this on a regular basis. We have the output current here. I don't, I'm not sure if we can read it. I guess you can, just here. I guess you can. Anyway, I'm gonna tell the value, so you can tell. All right, we're ready for the test. One, two, three, go. Oh, didn't start right up. Why on earth? 271. Open circuit voltage is good. Maybe maybe this lamp would need a little kickstart, I guess. It may be something else if this. It may be something else if this is older. All right. One, two, three. Ah! Now we're talking about something here. The value seems to be normal at 2.9, but remember that this is the uh, starting value. Eventually, the value will go down. We can try to measure the voltage. Now, the value we aim for, ultimately, is around, I would say, 1.9. 92 or 93 amps, just under 2 amps. So I hope that this value will go down eventually. But remember, with C CWA ballast, I don't remember if I told uh, in my videos, but with C CWA ballast, the current value that doesn't change through the warm up is the line volt, is the line current, and not the. Uh, oh, see? Value goes down. We aim for 1.9 around that. So, at the lamp, the value will start high and then go down, but the line current won't change, which is different from a, say, HX ballast, in which even the line current will change. Hmm. One point nine two amps. So far, we're getting good. value is good so far. 1.9. I'm really happy to see that value. That means the capacitor is working good at regulating the power properly and we're having just the right amount of power needed for this lamp. Because remember, the voltage is the same. It's still 130 volts. Wow, that lamp is going... That lamp seems to have some bursts of red color. <laughs> Man, that's not a metal halide, metal halide lamp, that's a mercury lamp. Because the limbs doing those red bursts are usually the metal, metal halide limbs and not the mercury ones. But the value is stable, 1.9. Let me just show you the value, because it's important to tell. It's important to show that the value must be good. Oh, went down, 1.8. So this is... 
this is the kind of value you look for with a, with a 250 watt lamp around just under 2 amps yes we're getting the uh, proper value oh starts to go down 2.9 2.8 Lamp seems to want to rectify though. 2.6, 5, 4. We're getting closer to the final value of 2. Oh, wow. Was that rectifying or something? I guess the lamp is not it's in a awesome shape. I kind of like the sound this makes. I have the switch ready if everything go if anything goes wrong. Now I want to measure the uh, the current the uh, voltage. So we're going to measure the voltage. We will be able to see it. Uh, not really, but wow! Oh, that was wild. <laughs> I think the lamp is about to go out, or at least it wants to go out. Wow, once one for. 156 volts. Hmm. I kind of like. I kind of don't like that. We're over 160 volts. Let me do a, a quick calculation. 156 volts times 1.7 amps. Oh, this one is running a little high. See. 156 volts times 1.7 amps, 265 watt. This lamp is running a little on the high side, and this is why we're going to turn it off right now. Um, I wouldn't run this for very long period of, periods of time because even if we're, even if we are only running 15 watts over the rate of power, I'm still kind of not comfortable with this. Let's set first the current value, and then the voltage afterwards. One, two, three, go. Ooh, three amps. Lamp starts very promptly, so actually, uh, well, I mean, the lamp stabilized very promptly, so I guess it is in very good shape. Two point eight. Turn starts to go down. Two point one. I'm not going to run this for very long because I'm not quite sure if this is a 250, it's maybe a 175. Alright, we are now at around 1.8 amps. And if we are close to the 130 volt value, this means we may have um, the uh, proper 250 watt lamp. So let me first connect the lamp. Ah, this is much better, 112 volts. Still rising, but at least we're having something that's much better. So 113 volts. 1.7 amps. Calculation time. One should be around 115 volts as we speak. Times 1.7. 195 watt. Barely more than a 175. Oh, hey, hey, at least the best. So th this seems to be a one feet. This seems to be the proper 250 watt lamp. The previous one, on the other hand, was at 160 volts, so it's probably a it was probably a uh, 175 watt lamp. How can I tell? Just a matter of logic. If the voltage is higher, this means that the pressure is higher. If the pressure is higher, chances are that the lamp is running at a higher power. Oh, it risen. Wow. 
146 a little high but it doesn't seem to be rising up anymore it seems to have stabilized well it does rise up a little bit 146 that's a little high we're spot on 250 watts so uh, let's turn this off altogether shall we so you've just seen the test of three mercury vapor lamps um, that I thought were 250 watts at first but after some testings and measurements uh, may, they may be 175 in fact so uh, with that being said um, I think I'm going to test them again on the proper ballast just to see what the values are going to be so uh, stay tuned for the next video from the Electric Laboratory